Oh, submitted two questions for Dutch at gmail.com. It's from Michael Sanders. Hi, Dutch and James. We've clearly seen uh, some pretty terrible character gimmicks utilised within professional wrestling. Some have, against all expectations, done quite well. So with this in mind, I'd like to ask Dutch a two-part question. I'll ask you just the first part first. Number one, what's the worst gimmick you heard about from him or another talent that's thankfully never saw the light of day? Well, <clears throat> most of the gimmicks that I saw that never saw the light of day uh, would be in the smaller territories, but I can't remember one. But the one that I remember as the biggest one that did see the light of day, I, I changed your question around just a little bit, was what's that Easter egg deal? In, uh, oh, the gobbledygooker, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hector Guerrero. <laughs> oh, my God. And it was a bad gimmick, but I had to laugh at it. It was – it's a gimmick that you don't – you 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 wouldn't forget. And I don't know how they would have did, – did the, did the gobbledygooker ever have any matches or no? He did, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if they were ever on TV, but he had some house show matches. Hector Guerrero did in the outfit. Yeah, Hector's a good guy. He would have done a he would have done a good job with it, as any of those Guerrero boys would have done. They were all good guys. Hector, uh, I was with him, I forgot where I was with him at. Oh, in T uh, in TNA. Hmm. Good guy. But I I knew him before then, but he he was a really good guy. Funny and uh he's very religious now, so I wanted to engage him in a biblical conversation one time but decided against it because some people, uh, when they get involved in that, they just keep going and going and going, and I would have no answer, and he'd have all of them. But anyway, that was the, the gobbledygooker. Don't have nothing to do with religion, by the way. The gobbledygooker was probably the worst one I ever saw. And the ones that didn't make TV, I don't know. I may not have seen them. <clears throat> There's one that did make the house shows in WCW, but I don't think it made TV, was – when Harlem Heat debuted in WCW in like 93, and they had Colonel Robert Parker leading them out in chains. Robert Fuller, I should say, for you. But he they didn't do that. They did, did, they did, did they do that? 1993, not 1824. Well, that surprises me, and I think I've heard of this before, and Robert would have been the one to do with it because he was riding and wearing that... Oh, Southern plantation outfit, white, and wore a hat and like a little bow tie type deal. What surprises me is Booker went along with it. You know, a lot of the guys, they don't think that's entertaining, nor, and I don't, I don't either. But I don't know who had, I don't even know who got it through, but that made TV? No, only made the house show loop, never made TV, I think. Well, that was the reason because of the, you know, this racism didn't come along yesterday. Yeah. And they Do don't you, want to see it on the TV. Was? Do you then know who the Booker was? Or now. Who was the Booker? Ole? It was somewhere between Ole Anderson and Bill Watts. So, a, a, Oh, God. So a couple of the usual suspects then who might, you might think come up with that. Oh, yeah. Well, I can, I can see it. But anyway. But that was a that was a bad angle. That really was. Uh, the second part of the question, uh, if I can, I'm going to leave this thing. If you could uh, bring your microphone just a bit closer to you as well. Okay. Uh, what's the worst gimmick that Dutch thought would be doomed to failure, but actually turned out to be way more successful than he initially thought? Kind, uh, well, kind regards. Well, you're talking about an expanse of time that took in 40, 45 years that I actually saw these different gimmicks. You'd almost have to give me a list because just thinking off the top of my head, see, I forget things that aren't regularly requested. So I've kind of forgotten the, the tag teams that would actually be remembered on a national basis. Now, I've seen a lot of bad tag teams. I've seen a lot of them, but 
I, I'm afraid I don't have an answer for you there. No, I'll tell you what, if you write back in, um, oh, what was your damn name, Mike Sanders, uh, give us a list of some of the worst characters, worst gimmicks that you think that were actually successful and then Dutch will answer it back for you.